even in amongst that thing, they were like, the Whittier you dudes are dorks. Okay. Um, and we were like, yeah, we are dorks. Yeah. And we're going to be cooler and more important than all you guys. Yeah. Because people like dorks. Yeah. <laughs> a weirdo. Turns or, out. Or whatever. It's true. And so, um, and that doesn't take anything away from us trying to skate as gnarly as we could. Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey, Total. Total? Welcome hey, to Total. Hawk versus Wolf. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm just bypassing all those niceties because we have Lance Mountain here. Lance <laughs> fucking Mountain. That, exactly. Huge, man. What's that? I look at you guys. It's, I'm sorry. I've, uh, it's taken me a long time to get on this. There's been a lot of things getting in the way to do it. So it's I'm okay. Finally got we, here. we keep, you know, we're persistent. Yeah, we're not giving up. No. <laughs> I was, I was, I was definitely um, stalking you with text messages for a little while. I was just been. There's a lot of stuff coming. Been. It's a lot okay. Of you don't happening. need excuses, Lance. Like, One of them is mainly is I just didn't really want to talk. <laughs> second, <laughs> that's the excuse. Second, I, I was looking for these photos because I wanted to give you a little uh, pictures, and I could not find these photos. Oh, so, what um, photos I had shot of you? No way. And I was looking for this one. I could not find it. It's lost. But it was a fakey Ollie in Sweden. Yeah. Like the year that you did everything, 720s and everything. And but there we was, went in 85. 85. Yeah. That was 1985. Yeah. <laughs> but I was looking for this fakey Ollie photo I had of you. Okay. That was, I actually thought was the best thing I've ever seen. You do. Because it was like six feet high. <laughs> awesome. And I wow. still hadn't seen a fakey Ollie from my position on a skateboard over an inch or so, so high up. <laughs> but I could not find it. So um, I, I found this instead. But it, that blew me away anyways, too. So it's, um, oh, sorry. Didn't even have this stuff on there. It's a um, front set alley. Oh, awesome. Dude, it, I shot it so it's out of focus. And um, <laughs> <literally. laughs> <I love> it. <laughs> no, it's not. Is it? Well, that's at Sweden, yeah. Man, that's a uh, monster alley, too. And uh, yours was easy. Yours what? was the easiest one. What? Shut yours up. was the easiest one. Yes. Wait. Because I had yours. Is it the first photo that I ever got in an American magazine? Because you were the photographer. It was. Was it a frontside 50 50 to 270, read, whatever yeah. they call it? It was just a. Yeah, it was the one that you yeah, had in the magazine. Yeah. But it wasn't that one. It was a much better one I got. Yeah. That I think you would really enjoy. Oh my God. That's it. He has Street Alice. <laughs> street no Alice. No way. The that day. almost looks like I could be a street skateboarder. Blunt to Pivy. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Blunt it was to like, Pivy. I think it was the day before. Yeah. Like the great, like, you just, I lost that. And now you're reminding me of this time where I would hang out and do this. <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing? Like whipping? Yeah, man. Snake pitting about. I got, I got, I got a uh, rip grip on my nose for extra traction, so that you could tell that there was no nose slides in that day. Well, the cool thing I love is how that, serious you look. It's, it's, oh, dude! If you the cool on thing a curb, is, I better be serious. <laughs> the cool thing is that might have been a rental deck. Was that your deck or is it a rental? I would like you mean, but it, it might have been yours. I don't know. <laughs> No, that's my board because nobody went. No, I was, yeah, gold wing, giant gold wing sticker, giant snake pit sticker. Yeah. Snake pit t shirt. So I was like super Australian that's then. Right. And I watched Holy the. Holy um, shit, Lance. This did is I watch like, the show where you're, um, <laughs> your heart is doing good and all that stuff? So, man, I'm stoked. Because uh, I, I saw a show before where you're like worried about it. And then I saw the show where you're like, oh, it seems like it's working. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, right? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's. This is awesome. Thank you. I know, Lance. man. Oh and then again, God. you, Tony. Like, this is obviously. one of my favorite memories. Is, <laughs> uh, of you and I. I mean, we were in. We were at this camp for like six weeks. No, could it five have been weeks. That long? Cool thing ever. Could have been four days. It'd been too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I had so much fun though because it, it was cool. Like, it was the first time spending real time with you and learning so much about just um, music and. I mean, even even just philosophy and and approach to skating and 
I mean, it was, it was, it was like a magical time. And we got to ski this ramp every day. And this ramp was way bigger than anything else. Yeah. It was, um, like, it was awesome. It was a learning so, time. Like, it was. He, it was he's really cool. saying like, um, really got to know what's wrong with you. He say. <laughs> we bought a car together. Oh, yeah, we bought a car. Mostly his money, I'm sure. I think it was only 400 bucks. He probably spent three and I spent two. I yeah. remember, I remember you I, were. I didn't know he wanted to take it home and I destroyed it pretty much. Uh, I didn't want to take it home. Oh, I, I thought you said, when we were talking about it later, we were like, oh, it would have been cool. I mean, to I'm take sure. That, I'm like, I'm, yeah, maybe some in pie in the sky fantasy, oh, but. I'm supposed to turn my phone off, huh? No. Nah. Doesn't matter. As long as you're not answering it. Well, that I, had would a, be I had, I had an idea. Because when I was leaving the house, my wife said, um, uh, she's like, watch this Dave Vanian interview. You need to watch this Dave Vanian interview because the way he answers questions is really good. Okay. Because they would say. As if you've never been interviewed? Well, no. Well, because she's seen my interviews. <laughs> and so the way Vanian would ask, answer a question, they'd say, uh, you're from Alhambra or Pasadena in that area. That's where you live, correct? fishing for like where you live and you say neither <laughs> yeah it was yeah. just sweet crisp short little we answers. prefer we prefer the way you so way i was like things. somebody was advised your wife was advising you to give that kind of an answer to us compared to what i used to give which would be me thinking out loud for about <laughs> an hour and a half and <laughs> just um Spilling every thought in my mind and no answer. That's, but, um, she that's said, to she me, that's said me. what? First to say sorry for to you because she was house sitting thirty five years ago. Yeah, we went somewhere and uh, David Spade called. Yeah, and said, "Hey, is Tony there?" And she said, "No." <laughs> <laughs> and that, was, that forgot, was my only chance. Yes, she, she forgot to tell you that he called. <laughs> 30 years ago. Come on, I gotta oh, call him back. 30, 35 years ago. So I said, hey, David, can I call you, my wife? And when you ask me questions, oh, got it. Yeah. I, I will oh, repeat them and then I'll give her answer like to Roxanne. him. Like Roxanne. Because she's such, yeah. she's much better at it than this I am. This is Marlon Brando right it. now. It'd be good, right? For a podcast. Uh, she, no, she, I prefer to talk to you. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> she had some really good answers. I might try it later. I feel like the meandering. Answer is that's more of like a regular conversation with Lance, not an interview with Lance. I know, but we've done that, and um, my <laughs> wife has such better stories. First of all, it's Mother's Day, so she, man, she loved your mom. Oh, I know. She was she always mom. very she was, kind. She and, was and, so, so encouraged by your mom uh, going to school at seventy or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, getting her doctorate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she um, did. Yeah, yeah, at seventy. Yeah. Uh, no, she was she was yeah. in her sixties, but yeah. You know me. That's whatever. close enough. Hey, yeah, you're at the yeah. right table to not know. We're stuff. in our seventies. Yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> As Lance says, we're grandpas falling from the sky. Yeah, which is. <laughs> but I do want to. So let's okay. go back to this because you and I were we were in this. Is uh, what is that? What is that city called? Is that Hagenaz? Hagenaz. So it's outside it? of Stockholm. Is it and like it's the not ice really, cream? No, oh, that's Hagen Dazs. No, it's Hagen Dazs, and that's Danish. You guys all sound the same. Sorry. <laughs> so we were we were staying. There's there was. Not much to do except skate, which was fun, but we always want to go do something, go yeah. record shopping or go eat at a regular restaurant. And so we would always be trying to get rides to Stockholm because there was no public transportation. So we're always okay. like, hey, let me go to Stockholm, Stockholm. And then finally, we, we, there was this little tiny car dealership right outside the camp. And we're like, how much for that car? Yeah. <laughs> they said 400 bucks. And then I was like, well, Lance, we could split it, 200 each. I think it was, I think it was three ninety five and five bucks. I think it was a split. That's how you did it. I think it really was. I don't think it was even. I don't know. You, but you, I remember you were like, "How could you have talked me into spending any money?" Because he didn't spend any money back then. Yeah. Or, or I had a kid. Doesn't. Yeah. He had. What? Okay. What? We had a kid, but he also. But I mean, you got a kid, so you don't spend any money. No. What about if you? <laughs> I was making fifty bucks when I got married. Okay. You, yeah. don't, you don't spend money. And we were we were making probably less than that per week at the camp, right? I don't even. You, that year is right when it started happening. That you started we started paid? to make money. Okay. That that year was very little. Yeah, that year our board, my board came out that no, year. No, no, I'm talking how, about. But, but did they actually pay us to be at the camp? No, no. Fausto gave me a bag of indies to sell. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
I've slightly Sorry, insulted, we, but we got all over the place. No, this is. I, wait, <laughs> um, but 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 we did. We we bought this car and it was then four hundred four Peugeot. Four hundred four Peugeot, Peugeot yeah, yeah, and it was sick. And we would drive. Wait, it he's to lost. Stockholm. I love how he's like lost. Like no, because awesome. I'm trying Story's to stay. Back. I'm so punchy. If I don't, f- I'm going to forget the question. Punch in. Your your first pro model came out, and you didn't make any money. No, so, but long story short. But wait, 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 wait. Short story, <laughs> very long. Okay. We, that's Lance. That's Lance. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Short story. Very My long. board came out at the end of 81. I wrote for Veriflex. It was only oh, out for about a year and a half. Okay. I'm it's only out for about a year and a half. Okay. Skateboarding died completely. That those, we, that's, we were getting, I think I got a check for 14 bucks. Yeah. He got an 89 cents check. I got 85 cents. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a big $14 check once. But then that died. And so I ended up on PAL which kind of never should have happened because I was on another team. Okay. And Stacy never took people off other teams and put them on. I would have just disappeared off the face of the earth. Like he approached else. you like he does. No, my mom it. asked, can I ride for pal? Shut up, dude. I swear. And he said, yes. <laughs> my, so that he must have. <laughs> well, we're going to have to go he, You're trying to tell me again? that your mom was like, look, I know you don't really like him, but trust me, he's going to work out. He must have already no, been it interested. Was, um, it was, I was, skateboarding was, just it was nothing. We we're turning eighteen. We had to get jobs. Yeah, I was working at Skate City, making a little bit. That would closed. My fifteen dollar, forty dollars, fifty dollar checks that I had for a year and a half from Veriflex were like, okay, that's not going to really make it. Um, I started working at Veriflex, driving all the way out to Chatsworth and silk screening boards. And at that point, they told me, "There's, we're basically not going to have a pro team anymore. Do you want to run it?" do I want to run a pro team that you're not going to have anymore? <laughs> and I was like, I, yeah, what ran, an offer. I just like, dude, what am I going to do? I was hanging out a lot, not hanging, but Stevie and I were close. Yeah. Um, and Stacy and Stevie came to pick me up to go to the Palmdale contest. Okay. On the way there, my mom talked to Stacy, like, you know, um, my son, you know, Lance is, wants to kind of do what you did. He, you know, it's, he's kind of lost in the industry i don't know exactly what she said but it was basically probably repeating everything i had talked to her like you know how is this going to happen it's done already mm-hmm. can't make any money i've always wanted to ride for pal blah 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 i tried to get on pal when ray bones used to give me boards and stuff oh uh, okay three years earlier ray tried to talk to well, stacy maybe we're going to jump around too much but anyways okay. at that point um my mom said something basically i always thought she said um you know, can you give him advice of how to do what you've done? He's looked up to you, you know, taking care of the team. I think after I found out, she actually just straight out, could he ride for pal? I think. Yeah. Um, anyways, Stacy and I talked and it was like, yeah, you know, if you, if Fairfax comes to an end um, and you're off for three months, we will pick you up and you will basically not have a board anymore. Yeah. And you'll just kind of, uh, kind of do what I, you know, I'll, I'll train you, apprenticeship you into what I do. So not to be a pro skateboarder, to be somebody that like a creative up- director and team manager, kinda. Yeah, right. So so the job was I. That's how it was help, presented to all of us. I helped do the Bones Brigade intelligence report. I I, I drove to Pal with Stacy and Stesic. I helped them in the videos, like if he needed a uh, scooters made or I just you know, it was supposed to like nurture me to help bring up some other young guys and not to shine. Well, my uh, arguably. It was like you know our careers are over. Like that's how that's how everybody thought, or that just well you, when you when there's he, ten he was when there's ten pros, and you're getting eleventh place. <laughs> I'm assuming they think you know you, yeah, your career's kind of done. Maybe I, I don't know. I were, really like, don't know. You were a couple years older than Cab. Well, I wasn't older. I was older than Cab, but not a couple years older than Cab. I was only six months older than Cap. Oh, oh, but okay. but we all thought of you as being older than older because you had because you had a family and stuff. Which well, yeah, is yeah. A stigma. But and, and Cab's still four years older than all you guys. Kind sure. Of thing, so. Right. Yeah. But but that was it. it. Was just more like, oh, Lance is an older guy. He's gonna go into doing more behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. And then correct me if I'm wrong, but once you got on Powell, you went hard into skating and and doing new stuff. No. No. So I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It felt like that to me. Well, but I do have to say, well, I, I, but that's, what was that's, it that's our egos. It's like, I don't really talk like I have an ego. Like I skated, I thought I skated really good on Veriflex. Okay. I thought I skated hard on Veriflex. I thought I was doing move stuff. I thought I was doing things uh, that other people weren't doing. Because you I, were. 
well, maybe someone like Neil Blender or Jeff Grosso or John Lucero would attribute that to me. Okay. But I don't know if the industry really thought. They, they just see me show up at contests and really not give a try and kind of goof off. Um, because what if Tony, like, well, first of all, I was older. So, like, these guys, like, um, not to be whatever. A lot of different people won at that time. Yeah. Tony and, and uh, Christian, okay. Miller. They're still a little younger than us. And yeah. so even though they were ripping, they didn't have the power to win okay. really yet yeah. until a few years later. Yeah. Um, and so really at that point, a lot of people were winning and doing well. Okay. Um, but the difference was 50 bucks. So really did it matter? Did you, like, not, when you got on we the Bronze Brigade, um, did you think to yourself, I'm going to turn it up a little bit here, like to push yourself in skateboarding well, limit wise. Like I love it. Was I was stuck into a weird thing where it's like I was telling Stacy, "Yeah, I'll help out," and I was like, "Dude, I'm going to beat your dudes." Right? Okay, good. <laughs> beat your dudes. <laughs> I had to because you like, skated like you that was I, a, that was part so, of the plan. So from but but on in our perspective or or the, the <laughs> angle that he that St when Stacy came. And he said, well, we're going to put Lance on the team. And there was a little bit of a kerfuffle because it was like, wait, what? Lance? Like, he's already established. You bring people up. Yeah. Oh. And then it was like, no, no, he's going to do this other stuff. Yeah. So, and then Lance came in yeah. and was still skating super good, but kept getting better and better. And it was like, oh, Lance is like a force to be reckoned with and is super good. And he's got it all. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a man. I love Stacy. So rad. Um, and I, even the documentary that's out there, I had to re-discuss this with a bunch of people because it's, unfortunately, um, for myself, it's just, um, I think I have to explain it because they're like, oh, we thought you were good. You don't ever have to think you didn't belong or you weren't good enough. Or, and I was like, well, that's kind of the story wasn't as deep to really explain that I was on another team. stacy has got his team. He's never going to cherry pick people off teams. And I wasn't even being a cherry pick. <laughs> like, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, we have. At, there was conversations of, like, he loved Nottis, but he ain't going to take him off of Skip's team. Yeah. He loved Blender, but he wasn't going to take him off GNS. Uh, very respectable, really. And he loved Miller. There was a time that Miller was probably even later going to be on PAL, but he was like, he ain't going to take him. It's like, it's not going to be for. So I was this weird thing that he wasn't really taking like wow we we have number one two three four five we need a number we need another guy yeah. he was really looking for somebody that was interested in the industry and being part of like stessic it's always his right hand man with ideas and stuff he needed he, i think he wanted to work into a place where he was overseeing us and then we could have teams yeah and he saw me as someone who wanted that and um that's part of me, but I always wanted him at Montebello to go, wow, you jumped the fence. Would you want to be on Genus? <laughs> Truthfully. Really? Like, as a kid. Yeah. Like we always, that's all skateboarders want the guys that they think are awesome yeah. to think they're okay. Yeah. Yep. Fair if enough. not better than okay. So when so, the um, future primitive videos gets sense? made. Oh yeah. No, when I, I was going to say when, when I would skate Colton as an amateur, um, I think maybe even before Dogtown. I'm not Dogtown. I remember seeking out Eddie Algera. Like, hey, I'm, I'm. I think I got a line together. He's just like, cool kid. <laughs> you know, he was super. He was gracious, but it was very much like I just wanted his approval. His approval. But I was, he, he wanted you to not to uh, see his line. <laughs> he <did. laughs> he think, I definitely he, wasn't on his just, radar. But yeah. I just remember like looking at him. You know, when you just you're just looking for something to talk about, but you really end up trying to. It, it was a, sell yourself. There was a lot of interesting times because a lot of things were changing, and yeah. a lot of ways were changing. I had skated for a while before, I, I and maybe more tuned in to it than maybe <laughs> what Tony or Stevie was tuned into. Yeah, maybe it's just a guess. Like he got a skateboard and he's just like, I'm going to skateboard and progress. And he, you probably saw Andrick and all this stuff. Um, and Stevie as well got on a team and it was like basically sponsored within six months and then pro a year later. Um, but I don't think they spent maybe three or four or five years like really looking at Jay Adams or 
um, Ed Natalin or um, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, they're the guy. There, it was like I was already a weird fan of skateboarding for a, quite a long time from the for outside. some older stuff. So it was like, does that make sense? Like yeah. I really, really, I, I kept I had already emulated or wanted to emulate this type of skating or that type of skating, and so I always looked at skateboarding as, um, oh, I, I'm playing cowboys and Indians, or I'm playing uh, cops and robbers. I'm playing skateboarding, yeah, and I'm like playing this game that these guys are doing, yeah. Um, and I can so, relate to that. And, but it changes. So you're really into this type of, and then it moves and you're really into this type yeah. of. So I jumped from, you know, I jumped from, we started freestyling and I was terrible at it. <laughs> terrible at it. Oh, I yeah. wish we had video of that. So bad. Like that's what we did. My friends were freestylers. They were really good freestylers, handstands and 360s. And, so who showed you the bowl? Well, Ed Natalin and uh, Russ Howell and uh, Mike Weed and uh, Torger John. These guys were the, the guys they were into. And I was like, man, within about a year, probably did that for a year. I was like, well, it's kind of like any other sport. Can't do 75, 360s. You're not going to be that great. Yeah, okay. But it was still at that time with um, uh, Evil Knievel and biker guys were starting to like find like launch off stuff yeah and so it, it kind of moved from freestyle to launching off things or bank riding yeah. or and it turned from technical dudes to little rats that didn't care about getting hurt yes and so i was like oh wow those guys are cool yeah and also it was the guys that could do 70 360s and i only could do four <laughs> do would you go like, do you oh you back? can jump off stuff right well you're pretty cool kid <laughs> So then you move from those guys to the Alva and Jay Adams dudes, and Stacy was like the professional that we go, wow, that's you can be a professional maybe. Yeah. Um, and then it moved from there to Steve Alva, beat him in the first pool contest, so I jumped to Steve Alva, and then Ray Bones came along, and he's just oh, gorgeous, smooth yeah. skater, and then Daryl Miller, like, and George Orton, and so you kind of, by the time we were getting into AM contests. My friends that I had started skating with were kind of like, it's really not about that. <laughs> it's really not about competition. It was about okay. this thing. And so as they got jobs, I was like, we as AMs are like, if you're going to do this, you were put into park competition. Yeah. And so we get into it during park competition. But I already had this years of kind of this other thing. And if I was going to do it, then I had to compete, which I didn't really naturally thrive off of competing. Yeah. Seems I like thrived that. off of being in fear of not being able to stay involved. So I had to compete to beat them. So is wow. that, it makes a different sense, right? It seems like a lot of pressure. I, I probably realized it, it was it the only way though. It was the only way to make a go at skateboarding and it's, as, it's, uh, as a career or lifestyle uh, was to but compete in those days. Yeah. And it's not like it was a bad thing. It was just kind of like, you're not a natural competitor yeah. for certain sakes. I, I want to, want to progress right you're more of an artist tony wanted to progress right um Asoy, i think really loved being seen yeah i can Cab actually like really <laughs> likes competing yeah he likes the comp competition <laughs> part of it. Strategy. and at that time eddie ch skateboarding changed drastically eddie and i think stevie took it from eddie there was a strategy of how to compete that changed drastically from the year before. These dudes were aggressive. They went in and it was like, I'm just gonna smash the coping off that thing. And then, and they were insane skateboarders, but the judges are going, uh, one smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do, you you know, know, I gotta do a lot of smashes a, to win that. One of the contests yeah. at Colton, when I was, a, when I was am, I think I was on Dogtown still, uh, and I was just, you know, just getting to the top. And, and I remember I was about to drop in and Fausto looks at me and like, hey, hit the coping hard. Hit it hard. And I was like, I why know. are we all so angry? I go, but I was like, I don't even know what that means. Just aggressive. I, I, I'm just stoked that I get over the coping. What do yeah. you mean hit the coping? No, you, you gotta want punish me to, the coping. But it was more like, you want me to yeah. bonk out? Dude, oh, I don't yeah. get it. Tony, I mean, <laughs> the thing is, I think a lot of people have reenacted the story that they, did they, is like you're disliked maybe but he wasn't disliked he was like everyone knew what he was doing was going to reach 
was going to get there. Yeah. And put us, put them or us or all of us to yeah. rest. Oh, okay. Right? But it wasn't there yet. So therefore, you can say whatever you want about it. Okay. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But for, no, it for was, me, it was, I remember even, I think, I I think remember Fausto saw me as just being super intimidated and super little. And he just wanted to give me a boost. And that was his best way of doing it was hit the okay. coping hard. Fausto was doing that. And I'm not saying that Fausto <laughs> wasn't doing that. I, was, I wasn't trying to interrupt. Yeah, he was doing that. He would push you. He'd also like try to intimidate you. The other pros would try to intimidate you. It was just a game. They yeah. still do, but it's differently now. Um, it was actually kind of neat. Because it really made us like, it really made us like, oh, it made us tougher. Yeah, it made yeah. us resilient um, for sure. Yeah, you know, I had but the same I, version. I, I do, but I, yeah, I remember like totally like when you were in the AMS, because we all had to compete in the age group. So we really didn't compete against each other. It was age groups really oh, at first. What? Age groups plus divisions in age groups. Yeah. So 13 and under, 1A, 2A, 3A. 14 to 15. How many one, people eight, two, were eight, in three, a contest eight. on a weekend? Not that many. Dude. Aspos? Yeah. Uh, there was so, a lot. Oh, a lot, a lot. But, I mean, there was. It was but like, sometimes would it be like so five We're, we're talking at 79 to 80, there was these Aspo contests, and there were 170 kids. Yeah. So they but had to give them up. By 80, the end of 80, 81, there was 10. Oh, yeah. wow. So there was. And all 175 probably could have done what I did. It's, it's, in, it's insane. It blows me away. Like, David Z. Dude, that guy was, he was a master. I remember, so. He was the first guy to truly blast arrows. We're jumping all over the place. What? But, but, but I want to go back. Welcome to the show. I want to go back to ASPO. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go back. I got into ASPO as it was right at the peak of it. So I was in 1A, 11 and under. Like it was the lowest, lowest, lowest category you can get in. And so there weren't a lot of people in mine, but I still got dead last. And then, yeah, you're right. That's why they had to be But at some point, they had all those divisions and be one person in the division. So you would win. Oh. Right? And then they would drop yeah. in, yeah. do a run, and they won. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> That's my kind of contest right there. there. And, there and at that time, it was really neat, too. There, there was a gnarly girl division. Yeah. There was a group what? of girls that were 10 of them that were gnarly. Carabeth yep. stayed Austin. out of it, like rose out of it and stayed. But there were, dude, like, was it Brenda Devine that would just KO herself every contest? Oh yeah, she wrote for Cast. There was a there was another she was so gnarly. Sorry. There was one girl I remember. I think she was from Colton. I feel like she wrote for Veriflex. Who Not was, Patty. What's that? Not Patty Hoffman. No, no, no. Yeah. Younger, An like Carabeth's An age. Am. Yeah, Am. Yeah, it was like it was like Carabeth and her and Lee Parkin were kind of the, yeah. the main girls. I don't remember what her name was though. So I just reached out to Carabeth to be on the show. Go ahead. So. We're gonna have her talk about talk about this. Yeah, I remember talk like that, all time. those times is like. Do you remember Joe Hardy? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I would love to talk to him too. Joe Hardy had no legs. Yep. And would skate every event. And he could do airs out of the bowl. John Lacero's brother would skate butt board. He could stand, but he butt boarded, and they they would skate Whittier, and they could do airs out of Whittier. <laughs> so like sick. On oh, their there butt. was a dude in the Aspo yeah. series with Joe no Hardy. legs, Joe Hardy. Yeah. Yeah. And he would he would skate. He would get to the top of the ball, and he just there, there was so in. many incredible like dudes. It was it, it happened so quick that almost everybody could do all the same sort of stuff. Eh. Um, everyone could do inverts. Everyone could do backside airs. Like the exams, and that's what really like in the Gold Cup. The they they had the, the pros routine. do the compulsory. Everyone had to, to do, do the line. same run. Everyone has to do the same line. And it was very that. obvious that some of the AMs, it was mainly based on how you did that line, how creative you did that line. Mickey Alba would win all the time because he could do lines better than everyone. Okay. He'd do a different way of doing a line. But a lot of those pros were like, I don't want to do an invert. This is not what it's about. And so they kind of were losing interest. What was the line? I know you remember. Carve, front side carve. Front side, front side air, air. Invert. Invert. Backside, backside carve, carve. Backside air. Slide to fakie. Slide to fakie. fakie like a rock slide. walk to fakie. Yeah. yeah. Like a, you had to like do it. O slide, you had to, yeah. O slide, then a fakie, yeah. a rock and roll, and then a rock walk. Uh, yeah. you know, it's like the walk. worst idea for a contest yeah. ever. Well, they were, so they were still trying to figure out, like, unfortunately, they're trying to figure out how to put it in a box where we can understand this thing so we can judge it. 
Eh, okay. Um, and but that, that wasn't the only, that was, that was one part of the contest. That was 25% of your score. Yeah, that was 25%. And then the other 70% was your regular run that you just freestyled. But what it okay, did so do, you do have a regular what it did do is take all these rad creative dudes and make them never enter again. Right. Yeah. And I saw that and it was, wow, this is a bummer. Yeah. It's good and a bummer and it's good and it's a bummer. It's just crazy. And so, um, yeah, I, I just, you know, at that time you're like more like, you know what, <laughs> Tony, like he says he was struggling to get to the top supposedly. So he was creating new ways to do airs or whatever, supposedly. right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I was struggling. Yeah. It was, he was, he was like, yeah, but <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> but he was at the same time was lower from the height was making new ways to do moves, yeah. which would be the future if you had a brain. Yeah. And I think people could see it, but we were still like in a place where we can go, you know what? We like Mike Smith wearing an Argyle sweater better than that. Yeah. And, uh, but we, I don't think, I get that. I only think a few people clueless would go, yeah, that's not going to be anything. They just were like, Let's hope that stays up, stays back there for. A but you, years. but you <laughs> lived kind of. That's how I would have. Th- that's how I would have. But you lived too. between those generations, so you picked up on that style, as well. Yeah. Like you, you took what you had, this mm-hmm. foundation that was based, like started in freestyle, obviously, and mm-hmm. riding banks and stuff, and then pools. But then, but then you were young enough to be able to, sort of transition that into what became modern skiing, don't you think? Yeah, I, I, it's funny we're talking about sure. freestyle though. The, in our day, when like when I was a kid, the first question people ask you if you skate is how many 360s can you do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not like how high can you ollie? Can yeah. you do a kickflip? Yeah. It was like, how many 360s you can do? I only got to four. Yeah. People knew, th- you knew the number. Well, it's exactly when you like asked. how many stairs can you ollie or how, yeah. It was how many 360s you can do. Then it went, do you know who Tony Alba is? <laughs> then, it, then it went, you know, it was, yeah. Um, but it was how many 360s can you do? Can you hit sure. tile? Okay, um, so and um, I, I have a I question. I just think that that um, when it was changing, they were looking for the next thing that would be the thing, not mm-hmm. really a bunch of dudes that kind of had emulated what had already been done. Yep. And I was way in that group, I think. Um, but something happened. So. Something clicked. Well, no, I, I already think uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like it clicks when Stacy gave you that opportunity to be seen. Like there's a lot of good skaters. I was I did I did a lot of stuff on Veriflex that hadn't been done by pros. Right. Um, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean I was doing I did invert fakies, I did lean three sixties, I did a I made up eggplants, I did I did Wait, I think, you made up eggplants? Yeah. Thanks, Lance. Yes. That's, That's really why we're here. Thing. What's a rotor rooter? It's an eggplant, but you don't go over the top, you stay inside the you stay you in. stay on one side of your hand. Okay. And uh we were playing a game of skate. And I'm not going to say I made them up. I just said I made them up, but I'm not going to say I made them up. <laughs> well covered. Because I just did. Yeah. But I think a lot of things were happening at the same time in different places. Maybe Groholsky. I've heard Groholsky was doing them at some point or right. whatever. But you didn't but, copy it. You were like... Well, we were, playing, we were playing a game of skate, and I was trying to beat Neil... And we did all in the little brown bowls and we did all these little invert variations. And so I was just grabbing with the wrong hand yeah. to, to make it, to get him out. Yeah. And he was making fun of it. He's like, oh, that's an eggplant. That's, you know, like it stinks. I love how he just names. Yeah. He's in charge of yeah. right? so many names. Yeah. And then back we're in the like, day. then we're skating and um, Gator was doing the, yeah. the Rotor Rooter. Yeah. And I'm watching him. I was like, why don't you just like, fly out like fly in india or upside down and just put your hand late like, and go you, over and i just tried it and i was just doing them when you first uh, very it, it, first it, eggplants did you air onto your hand like you do now you you have to kind of but yeah. not not the, that extreme version right because that's um, that's a very schrodery way of doing it i was this is yes. when i start to show up <laughs> yeah you and ben were both doing them i thought it was you did it first i'm not who cares it didn't matter but i my eggplant is still based off your eggplant but eggplant is still like it was done i mean and it moves all that stuff moves and 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 takes new meaning or whatever like i mean i remember doing i did andrick fakies at an aspo contest 
such a diesel move. I got. A, I have a photo doing Andrick Fakey hand the- on coping in an ASPO contest, and I remember when. Um, and I don't think anyone knew I did them. Yeah, I did them in this contest. It kind of didn't really work. I couldn't do anything out of it. I had tried them at a Lakewood thing with Grisham earlier, blah blah blah. And then I remember like other. I, I think Cab got an ad doing one. Andrew Fagia. Yeah. yeah, and I remember thinking like, I did that. Dude, I used to do them. I hope you. You know, <laughs> yeah. like everyone does. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, totally fair. I'd be like, man, then, I, it, it died, and then a lot of people did them, and they're kind of not good. And then Billy Beauregard came back and was like, figured out a new technique, and then that's when I went and really spent a lot of time on trying to do uh, invert fakie. And yeah, he's the first one I saw do it. Connor, Billy Beauregard, Beauregard yeah. yeah, he did really good ones, and it was like, oh, this is this is an updated version of how you do it, and so then you try to take that, and so, um, but even like that. I mean, it's, we're going all over. Yeah, when Stacy picked me and Stevie up to go to, to um, oh, we're back at Palmdale. Go to Palmdale. <laughs> there was a discussion about getting on. Okay, okay. do you remember and this? I remember that contest. I had done invert fakies at my uh, invert channels at my house for about a probably nine months oh, or yeah. something because I had a channel before anybody had a channel. Yeah, and that was the first contest I had a channel. It's like. <sighs> But I spent the whole con. It was the channel was two feet wider than mine. Ah, shit! That and it spent so me. Much I spent the whole contest trying to do that one move so I can get a picture or something. That was the picture and in the magazine, though. I got it a was. picture, yeah. but I probably got fifth out of ten people in the contest. So it's like I kind of was. I didn't have all those pieces. Yeah, and I don't know if I ever did. I just. I was very motivated. Like the first contest, I was like St. Pete. I was when they put me on pal. I was like, I'm going to win St. Pete. All right. But I got second. And then Upland was the next and I won. Is this before 540s? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 83. Still do you like remember those cubics? <laughs> big cubic wheels and everything. Lance, do you remember? I'm not going to say who it was, but uh, when you came on PAL and then the aesthetics changed, it was future primitive. It wasn't all military stuff. And, and then <laughs> we just kept quoting it forever. But it was like the, uh, you know, the future primitive stuff. It's, it's cute, but it's over. Oh, my, but say that. Do you remember that? I do remember it now you say that. Um, I did hit, I was. It's, it's cute, but it's over. Like, bring yeah. back the brigade. Yeah. Who said, uh, don't worry. It's We're a crazy saying it statement. in Mike's voice, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, okay. I love Mike. I see things. Mike uh, is the best. After 540s and the summer camp the year before this with Mike. And the experience of where it was going and even knowing more, like this pressure of poor Mike having to fly himself out here to, to get top four to be paid to make sure he could stay on PAL. And all of a sudden they're dumping riffraff on. That's Stacy's like in the neighborhood of Stacy. And he's getting a free ride. He was from another team that he would come and ruin the contest. He'd get last place. What are you doing, Stacy? Who? He's talking about him. Oh yeah! God. No, no, no! I, I see it. A He's trying thousand. to say that's that's Mike's perspective. I see it a him. thousand percent from Mike's perspective. Okay, now. I would like to get Mike's perspective on this one because I don't think it would be as harsh as you're stating. Of course, it wouldn't be. I think I it was more that. It. Well, here's here's what it was. Here's what it was. <laughs> and then I like pushed back on him. You know, I, I because I because he like I was like. I, that's me. I'm just but a you, you can, instigator. Yeah, I'm, I was saying you push his buttons. Like, I'm a button exactly, pusher. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, all oh, the bad wow. things about me. Mike's, but, but hold on. It, I'll, t- I'll, I'll tell you where it stemmed everyone. from. You know where it came Wait. from. You're yeah. a button pusher. Yeah, yeah, it came from yeah. that you were on this side of the tracks with Lee and Gregor and us. I love how this guy knows my background better than anybody. <laughs> yeah. Of course. We're button pushers of the skateboarding. It's like, well... If it's not us, who? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not going to be me. So, oh, which the other side is like, what is wrong with you, dudes? And we're like, well, that's why we didn't play football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's it, true. It, yeah, it, I, it's, I, it, I might have been it, quoted we saying did, something like right. that. Too. Yeah, that's we didn't. Uh, these we we battle with it. It's like, well, you get into this thing, and then now you realize, like, well, this is what you're supposed to do to stay doing it, and these are the way you judge, and you're yeah. like. Okay, I can form. I, I have to form in, and 
I start doing these things that make sense. Like, oh yeah, we're going to carve. We're not going to carve coping anymore. We're going to carve tiles because we can go twice as high. So we leave that out. But we really want part of that, but it doesn't count in a contest anymore. So we just do that and we start, you just start getting pushed along by yeah. this thing becoming more like a normal thing that you still have a piece of you going like, you know, I want to spray paint that wall instead of take my run. Yeah. And then they you, wouldn't have been into that. And Neil Blender did. No, Neil it. did. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, and Neil Blender is amazing for that. And it's also like, there's a backstory to that. He probably wouldn't have done that if he actually got some sleep that night and could have and, would, and felt like seeing the contest. Like, oh wow! <laughs> um, I got close. But I do want to say, I do think skateboarding has all these pieces to it that are beautiful and skate and. Go ahead. I'll tell you where the, where any of the frustration or animosity came from. Your entry into Powell when when no no I, I'll tell you I know what, why here, it, it's what happened was everything went. Like it was more, it was Stesic. Stesic, the, the aesthetics became future primitive and, and that kind of vibe. And then that was Lance's graphic. So it was future primitive and then he's intertwined with exactly that. And then it's like, oh my God, it's all Lance. We just gave it to, we gave the whole company to Lance. Gave the whole company to Lance. That that's what, it, that's last what week. other people on the team were seeing. Okay. That's well, what they would feel too. As a kid yeah. that was highly motivated from that particular video and you... That's the question I had. How does Stacy know, like, you guys are on the team, you're not, like, the heavy hitter, but all of a sudden you become kind of the star of the first video that Pal ever brings out, and you're a comedian in it. Did he, did he know? Was he playing you? So, no, no. I think, I think did Stacey, you know you were going to be I think Stacy knew I could be the kind of glue or personality to this thing. He's always told me, like, I would have put you on earlier if I didn't have Scott Foss or Jay Smith because he had those guys, but then they didn't really – stay skating but okay. they were kind of like the more of a personality type yeah. of guys really eccentric and rad so you knew cool. so i think he was putting me on there he really didn't think my competition i was really that interested maybe he thought i was probably waning because um, you were not really i well it sounds like a little bit of control they too much as control I, as i see it um if you're not once it becomes of a, once it starts skateboarding, this thing becomes start of a, starts becoming a thing, then there starts becoming a method and how what's going to work. Yeah. And so a dude that's 18, 19, already had a career, kind of didn't get top three. We're looking for the new kid that's going to get top three. We're not looking for the dude. And so I think Stacy thought I would just kind of, wind down out of it and be comfortable not having a board um wind down and kind of do the stuff i thought like okay. that any skateboarder would have done that wants to stay involved that doesn't want to split and i'd just be part of this thing um but when that video came out well and then your board came out well so he, what happened bones brigade video show yeah is before that and they and they put me in there just to tie everyone together okay like skating through the street, then showing up, and then Tony rides, and then just kind of being this the theme of it. Yeah. Um, and when that video came out, they got a hit. I'm like, you know, when are you gonna make this guy board? Right, because everybody. And so Stacy came to me. He was like, "Hey, you know, we uh, we know we talked about you not wanting a board, but would you want a board?" And I was like, "Let me think about it." And I was like, oh, "Yeah, no, of course, I always wanted a board." <laughs> yeah. Like, but it was unfair. And that's why I left Stacy. It was like, what a hard thing to maneuver with these guys and this, and will this happen or not happen? And then letting it happen. I always, always, always felt like I kind of let Stacy down and almost lied to him because I did want to be a skateboarder. Yeah, I did. Oh, from I did the... want to be a skateboarder. Right. I didn't really want to just work. Yeah. Um, and so what happened is like, hey, hey, do you want to have a graphic? Yes. I had my graphic ideas. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it, it's just weird. So the graphic ideas kind of, well, I, what I thought would work, they didn't think would work. And so we went through a, quite a while of graphics not, I didn't have a graphic. Okay. Kind of like sad. Oh man, I was going to get a board, but I don't get a board. Like all that stuff. <laughs> Um, cause a couple of the, ideas, I wanted to have this certain thing that I thought Courtney could have drawn and it would have been 
wonderful and would it fit into the Bones Brigade theme mm -hmm. and da da da. And they're like, for whatever reason, was like, nah. What was that? It was the crest. Oh, okay. The family crest, like the um, the, the British crest. Yeah. Like you know, I saw the dragon drawings and the. I was like, man, he can do this amazing, like mm -hmm. the lion and the unicorn and so the. So how crest does and, Aboriginals? Um, come into it. Well, that's because my I take too long. I should call you that. She would have just said no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that didn't happen. Then the couple of the ideas they saw, I was like, man, ew, I don't want that. Okay, was that the they one? were drawing? Courtney was drawing the ideas for Stesic's next video idea, Future Primitive. The name's going to be Future Primitive. Courtney was drawing caveman drawings to match it. Uh, I had no idea. I went up to the office. I saw him. I was like, man, I like that. Oh, okay. And that I was... had no idea it was going to the theme of the video or anything. So I got the theme of the video really put on my board, which would cause the other guys like, wait, you just turned the, the whole company into Lance's deal? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Those are all the, it's, that's, so, that's the backstories. Dude, I mean, the way George, Courtney, Stesic, Craig, I mean, um, Stacy, like, dude, the way they managed this thing uh, just can't be done again because the time wasn't there to do it again. It's, it's everything's get so fragmented and easier to do without these groups of people. Um, I think you'd miss it too, but we also like, dude, the things we've gotten to do since is even like crazier, Red. Yeah, because so, of that yeah. initial blast. Well, did and that's what I would say all the time. It could have been they could have picked Neil. Stacy could have picked Neil if, if GNS was completely out of business. I think Neil would have been there, not me. Yeah, I really do. Do you? They loved Neil. Catch? Neil was funny. He was comedic. He would. Tie so that are thing. you? Do you not catch I don't, how I, much I you don't bash think yourself? Knew, like I don't it's think crazy. they knew that. But you know that I don't bash myself. I just pretend to bash myself. I'm very proud. So <laughs> leading up to us going to Sweden together. When oh, you're they like, oh, said, I'm stuck with this nightmare. That when they said, oh, you're going to go with Lance. I was like, Lance, like Lance hates me. Are you basing that off the video where he was saying you look like I a just, refugee? Because these guys, okay, look, you go to, if you go to Whittier, I was just another kid, right? It wasn't just targeted at me, but I was an outsider. So I go to Whittier, I would drop in, he would drop in after me Try to and out. come after me. He's really good at that. Too. I don't remember that. But he would do that to anyone. So it wasn't like I was being singled out. Yeah. But but to me, I felt it. And I was just like, oh, oh. those guys hate me. And so when they said we're going to go to Sweden together, I was just like, dude, Lance, like he's going to. Dude. Did so, you t ever talk it out? No, I didn't even know he knew, said it. I never even knew that he thought that, really. <laughs> I never knew he saw but I was something excited, that I said But at the same bad. time, at the same yeah. time, I, I respected his contributions and his creativity. And I was like, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. As long as like he doesn't hate me the whole time, yeah. it's gonna be cool. Fair. And then he introduced me like he, Lance was my conduit to <laughs> oh. punk music in terms of the true foundation of punk music yeah. and everything about it. And and like I had so much fun there because Lance was there, and Rodney uh, too. Rodney was there too. Like it was dude, amazing. So this all comes from being raised by dudes that just all, the older dudes just. Did it to you. That's all they did. Yeah. yeah. That's all yeah, skateboarding sure. did. And you're yeah. like, this is awesome. I loved it. I, didn't, I wasn't, I I wasn't so I, big or uh, had that much confidence to say I loved it. I know, right? <laughs> well, do you, <laughs> you um, can tell he's on who's on what side of it when it went I down. wasn't listening to this. I'm not going to well, drop in after someone. When you say that, I remember that. one time because I, I, really cool I am a jerk. I am a jerk and I get frustrated very easy. And so they know that. Um, I remember one, the only time I ever remember it, it was way later. It was way later um, and somebody, people are picking on something or whatever. And then they tried to gang up on me and Tony straight out was like, basically you can't gang up on him. He doesn't care. And he's <laughs> the one that get, gets with someone to gang up on you. Or I can't remember exactly. It was oh, in the for car. Sure. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, it was never, Man, I always, it's so weird because I never knew, um, it was just, it was how we got each other to rise to the occasion. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, it's how we got each other to like, that's not the right way to do it. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. These dudes can sit back on their abilities yeah. and we're like pushing each other like, you're you terrible, like yeah. or whatever. I remember, dude, and this is, I've never even told you this. 
but I have it. And it's like, this is just the type of guys we are. We knew Tony was good. Was good. Yeah. There's dudes that would be like, he's not good or whatever they would say. Yeah. It was all out of frustration or jealousy or not liking the way it was going to be done or whatever it is. It's just that it's been the, through the history of skateboarding, the natural pecking order. Like when we started doing what we did, the older guy said, you're not even skating the pool. Uh, you're not riding the pool. Yeah. You're just doing tricks above the lip. Yeah. You're not riding it. It was like, but we had skated long enough that we, we knew how to ride the pool. Now we're trying to do more. Yeah. Um, but I, I made a little skate park card. Remember your little, your helmet with the little bobble? Yeah. Remember the little bobble? Yeah. I made a skate. I will never show it to anybody, but it was like a little thing. It said the bobble makes up all these tricks. And that <laughs> it, it, it was, it's just, it's just stupidity. It's not like I hated the guy or I just, that's what I do oh, to be funny. He got in the bobble. Yeah. You know, he had, a, he had like a little stick on bobble that was on the I helmet. Just, you know, those little fuzzy things. Yeah. I just put one on my helmet. When it was, I was awesome. A kid. And then I was so just like, tough. that's, you know, and whatever we, dude, I had a pink helmet. Like we all, whatever. I, I wasn't like knocking. It was just like, but I did. I made these fake magazines and everything, but I made a little skate park card and it had, it's probably really bad, but it says all, um, you know, like, the, the little bobble makes up these tricks and then whatever it was. Uh, yeah. But I would be the first one. Wait, you what? made a magazine on how stupid Tony Hawk is? No. <laughs> Skateboarding. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. My bad. I uh, did no, make I, a magazine about one particular dude, the book of Spidey. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never showed it. That's another one. I've never showed it to anybody yeah. except for Spidey. Okay. Um, um, and, but I'm Here's telling you, I'm telling you, I loved, like, I loved being the guy that when you get with the cool dudes, they're like, man, that guy's terrible. This kid, this kid. And I would say, like, you are out of your mind if they would say something bad about Tony or McGill or whatever. You're out of mind. You're not even, you're not even, and I'd do the same thing. You're not good enough to even say that. Yeah. Like, these guys are so much better than all of us. Yeah. We can think this way or we can act this way or we can get into our little cliques and feel, yeah, this is a thing, but it's not real. Yeah. It's just not real. Yeah, no, it's a big facade. Um, it is art form. You can like what you like or not dislike what you like, but you can't sit there and go, it's not good. That's weird. It's it, just actually it not good. It makes more sense that you were friends with Gregor now. It, <laughs> it was always confusing to me that Lance was such a nice person I'm and not. the people that he was. No, I'm starting to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Took me a while, but yeah, what a fine But on the other on the other side of that, like why would we would ask we would ask Lance to go skate his ramp. He had no, like, there's not nothing in it for him if we go skate his ramp, you know. And for us, we were driving from, from San Diego. And this is, I think, maybe even before we went to Sweden. I'm not sure. No, it was after. But, and and he, uh, can we come skate tomorrow? You know, maybe like around one or two. And he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't, yeah. And then we'd show up and he's out, he's gone. Nice. Like, oh. And then he would just leave a little sticky note, go skate. Oh, okay. I'm like, yes. We no, loved it. I, I, you know, the very first time I met you, you were in a car with me for like two hours. I'm calling you that. She, don't these do, were the story don't, I'm not doing that one. I'm not bringing up that one. These are these are coming up. Oh, uh, well, then go on. She Let me tell a nice story you. first. No, I don't know. <laughs> God damn. I don't, I don't know, know what I, I just did. Messed around. I, I can't even know. remember it. I just know I fucked up. Anyway. I didn't. I was in the Gregor I picked did. up Lance Mountain got- like to drive to Torquay. And I'm in the back of the car. Sick. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, who's sure. getting in the car? Lance, you fucking goober. Like, that's what he would used to call me. Yeah. And I was like, no. And then he got in the car. I was like, hey, man. I'm like, hey, man. And then we drove all that way. <laughs> and I just didn't say anything. I just was, I just remember it was the most intense car ride of my life because Future Primitive, all those videos, all that stuff, you were the guy that I related to the most. I'm sure you've heard that a lot from a lot of people, but that was where <laughs> I, I remember saying, I, I'm, when I grow up, I want to be Lance Mountain. I want to be a pro skateboarder who when he's around skateboarding, everyone's having fun. He's a fun guy and he rips. That's what I, I want. I still hear that all the it time. Turns out I Everybody have, does. No, it, turns, you it turns out I don't my think protégés you... are you, Jeff Grosso. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing. Just It's like they've taken this like little mischievous thing that I don't think is so bad. Yeah. And it's kind of cute and funny and not really hurt. And then just like blatant, like, like you're saying, Gregor, like it's so like intense and gnarly a, uh, on people right like you can be you can be gnarly on people you always were they all, 
that was their deal. Like, you guys are terrible. Like, it did help. Like you said, <laughs> like you said earlier, when people were like that, it did make you tougher. Yeah. You know, like there was a time there where people said so many bad things to me on and off the ramp all day that when yeah. I came here and someone's like, you know, what's up with your shoe? I'd be like, oh my God, dude, <laughs> yeah, you that's have all you no got? idea. That's all you like, got. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, you got to do way better I've than that. I've been beat up better than that before. <laughs> yeah. Like every day. I got attacked with machetes. <laughs> you have no idea. I, I know. <laughs> and I've never lived any of that. That wasn't Gregor. Yeah. I've never lived any. I just, skate, the skate parks were neat. There were little groups of things like Dogtown had Marina. And straight through and through, even with Stacy, even though he's not really a, like a, a dog towner in that sense, he has that attitude. There's an attitude. Um, Stacy's attitude, I don't know if it's good or bad to say, but what he was, pal, what he was doing is what mattered. Yeah. I wasn't going to mention what other people are doing. Right. The, the dog town thing was very much this with the dudes. Yeah, and it rubbed off on so and, many people. And little kids are going like, oh, okay, that's that thing. Badland comes along and go, we're bigger and badder than all you dudes. And we don't have to say anything. We're going to ride bigger stuff and beat all you and, and shut you guys down. All right. But they still had an attitude. They'd spit on us. they grab your butt when you're trying to drop in or whatever. <laughs> spit on you. Spit on me in a contest. I'll blow your nose on you. Spit oh, yeah. on you. When you're trying to drop in, try to grab your butt. Like before, you're like Eric Nash. Yeah, the crusher. The crusher. I believe. I, Mickey Alba, we love you. Mickey Alba's the best. But I believe it was Mickey Alba. The first contest Nash entered was a ramp contest. And he's up there and going to enter. And Mickey Alba's like, you don't belong on the ramp with us. <laughs> before he's right. Yes. Right before. <laughs> yes. And that's what you do. He it's, was the more. I think it was Mickey. If it wasn't Mickey, Mickey I love was, you anyways. But that's the, if it was you, even better because the, that that stuff rules. It, he was we, really. I don't intimidating. necessarily think any of that was hatred. No, right. <laughs> I mean, they didn't think no. about it. Well, I don't. I didn't even too. But I was just like, when you look back at it, you know that there was some hatred in it, right? Because when I look back at my no. days of, oh man, you are so I don't. gnarly. I think there's a lot of insecurities in it. Okay. I think there's a lot of trying to hold your position. Okay. I think there's a lot of, uh, back then, um, the only, if you didn't talk about yourself, who was? Yeah. So like the Valley, those dudes got beat down by everyone. Oh, Val skaters, they ripped. Yeah. They were gnarly. Jerry Valdez is so gnarly. My friend would be, oh, wow. You're into, the, I don't even want to say it, but <laughs> he was like, you're into that skater? Because I would be a little in me. Like all into this guy or whatever. And they're like, you know, Jerry Valdez is better than that dude. And here's the proof or whatever. And then I'd buy like, uh, you know, I bought a Jay Adams deck, you know, the ones his dad, yeah. his stepdad made, you know, five, my friend would be like, <clears throat> I think it's obsolete piece of garbage just because Jay Adams' name on it. That thing doesn't even work. Oh, wow. You know, in their right, really. It was an obsolete board by that time. Yeah. But it was, so um, I was more like a poser to them. Because oh, I was okay. playing skateboarding, you know? Yeah. Dude, this board is the real thing. Right. Like, this skater is the real deal. Um, and it gave me a, a better thing of seeing all that stuff. But Del Mar, I think, was very much more like the progression of skateboarding. Right. Whittier came along. I mean, Lakewood was open, and that was kind of the mm -hmm. punk. Big O and Lakewood were the punk spots. Yeah. Big O even more so. Neil Blender kind of was probably chased out of Big O because he was a young dude that was kind of um, progressive and strange. What do you mean chased out? Dwayne, Dwayne Peters probably was like, get out of here, clown boy. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Because, you know, and so Neil shows up at Whittier. I come from way over. We're not even Whittier dudes. We kind of connect. Whittier was the last thing on earth. It was built the last. And it was a bunch of... Lucero and we were a bunch of dudes playing skateboarding. We were never going to be part of it. Um, no, no, I'm saying no. Whittier was more like this weird collective group of dudes that didn't, they weren't, they, they weren't, weren't, they weren't the OGs saying we're the stuff, no one matters. We weren't the next group of guys. We're bigger and badder than everybody. I skated Upland, so I got a little bit of that. I skated Lakewood, so I got a little bit of that. But we ended up 
at Whittier because Whittier opened up two or three years later than all those. Yeah. And it was right at the end. And it was this weirder collective group of dudes that were basically the island and the misfit toys. Okay. It really was. That makes more sense. And so they have the island and the misfit toy yeah. attitude. Okay. Um, I remember meeting Neil and his like, our careers are over. We're 18. And I was like, yeah, I guess you are. Our careers didn't even start. We're done. Um, and having this added in Lucero and everything. So we were just teasers and we were just kind of goofballs. And we were, even in that industry, even in amongst that thing, they were like, the Whittier dudes are dorks. Okay. Um, and we were like, yeah, we are dorks. Yeah. And we're going to be cooler and more important than all you guys. Yeah. Because people like dorks. Yeah. <laughs> A weirdo Turns or, out. or whatever. It's true. And so, um, and that doesn't take anything away from us trying to skate as gnarly as we could. Yeah, because that's the bit that, you know, when you say someone's not as real as the other person, it's, what is like, it's like, what, because of my t-shirt? Like if I skateboard, I mean, for instance, you're still skateboarding. There's, there's no more, you know, I mean, who's a real skate? There's, you, you're like, as reality based a skateboarder as there is that's ever existed. What you don't have like enough tattoos to be a real skateboarder? Like it doesn't I feel like being tough and being angry doesn't make you a real <laughs> how, skateboarder. Haven't we let go of all those notions by now? Yeah, but I mean we're we're still struggling with a lot of notions probably. But um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> true. Um different in different ways. But um yeah, there I there was kids there. That's what I was saying. David Z. I don't even know who that is so i mean there was guy like i, <laughs> there, I was a, there was a picture of david z doing a lean air at marina and he's probably four or five feet out when no one could even get two feet out Dude, he's here, doing a lean so here, here, doing a lean here's air, the truth no of scrap. it here's the truth of it i am the only professional skateboarder to live that can't ollie correctly on vertical Try, so to, let me, try right. to claim one photo or video of me doing an ollie. I'm ruining my whole life right here. <laughs> and the reason why... You, you don't... No, I can't ollie. You know that. I've never seen you do yeah. a frontside or a backside ollie. Terrible. I, I can do backside, backside ollies. ollies. You can do backside ones. Oh, yeah. But that's not a frontside ollie. So all of skateboarding is based off the frontside ollie. Oh, okay. That's all it is. Except for what I grew up on. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Gelfin comes and does a front side alley. Yes. Within six months, David Z's doing them this high. Oh, no. Wait, what? I learned front side alleys right when I say, saw Gelfin do them, and I could do them about that high or whatever. Yeah. I see David Z six months later, and I'm like, not going to waste my time on yeah. that one. Yeah, I get that. Not going to waste <laughs> yeah. my time on that one. That makes sense. Yeah, and, I get uh, that. Uh, David Z is so gnarly. Like, he's just, and like, how does this play out? Like, what? There are so many David Z's that could have or should have or would have been in or get to sit here because i still get to play on a skateboard um did I david z i trip pass on away it. or something or no no, no. just it just people like that that they were in the right place at the wrong time there was no future in skateboarding okay. at the time two but then when it started getting big then he stopped skateboarding there's two things he he wasn't still skating when david it z there. wasn't quite as talented as tony okay really and well, I wasn't quite as smart as David Z for just splitting. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm like, wait, how is he smarter? <laughs> That's always Lance's thing. That's always his thing. That's fun. Well, I do it to myself. So all that <laughs> like, stuff we're talking like about. Like anyone that's out of the industry, it, it, it's not like it's not like, oh, they quit. He's like, oh, they were smart enough yeah. to stop skating. Well, see, so that's it, always been his attitude. Everything that I've been uh we that just can't. We're not that smart. <laughs> we can't give it up. Don't say that because I'm. Everything, I don't want to believe that. I, so that's the it. only reason I'm still. Welcome here. to the club. Uh, everything, that I, everything that I'm accused of and is real that I'm mean dude and lame dude is because I I do that to myself first. <laughs> so my standard is not only for others. It's on me first. Yeah. And it and it unfortunately leaks out and is bad. Yeah. So um, have you changed. worked on that? No, I never even thought about it until right now. Uh, I didn't think it was bad until right now. <laughs> I've worked on it. Because I think you were always a little well, bit nicer with I it. Do, no, I feel like... You know I, mean? that, I think you were always a little bit nicer with your bashings. I always thought I was. Because it was See, never... Was, it's always, it's always but, out of the It's out of the love, I thought. Like, by no means did I... I loved McGill. Yeah. I loved McGill. And then when I got on it, I realized he was like... I didn't understand really what was going on. I was like, why does he hate me? 
he didn't hate me. Right. He was like, dude, his poor position of like getting a, a one Cheeto a, a month from the company <laughs> was at at risk because yeah. I was coming along. And so he was trying to protect that and he didn't understand it. And it was like, what's going on? And so um, I teased back yeah. because I, I didn't understand it. And I don't think any of it was at all. I've never hated any of the dudes that I thought were whatever I thought of them. Yep. Even the skateboarders, I go like, that guy is no good. Right. I didn't hate him. I just thought he was no good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the difference. See, there you go. It's just a fact. That might be the... Well, no, I just... No, the fact is that I thought that. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even saying no. it's a fact. <laughs> I mean, that's like, why... There's I, like, you can... There's great skateboarders that do nothing for you. Yeah. And okay, I but like, I do feel like you have matured in your sensibilities and your approach or even your... Uh, I'm sorry. Your funny insults. He's holding it in right now. He wants to say, nope, this guy, this guy, no. and this guy, worst skateboarder. No, for seen. sure. No, I, has, I, right? I'm actually really bummed on myself if that's kind of. No, that's not the take. Okay, that, yeah. that's no, not the over. That is not I know the. It's not, but I just, that's how I am. Yeah. That's, that's the that's... struggle I've always had. Okay. You know, I went okay. skated yesterday. I went skated yesterday and it was super fun. But there was like a little incident that. I couldn't get over and it just ruined the session. And I had, I was like, if I keep skating, I'm going to get hurt or whatever. And it was such a non-issue. I could have said, Hey, what about this? And I just saw what someone was doing. And I was like, Damn, really, really? They're doing that. I love that. Right. <laughs> sorry, but I love that. And I could, I, all I had to do is say, Hey, what? and they would have been like all sweet. And, oh, sorry. Sorry. And it just, I mentally ill basically yeah. is all I'm saying. Okay, but yeah. do you think that in your in, in your earlier days you would have said something? Oh heck yeah! Right, so that's what I'm saying. Well, then heck yeah, yeah, that's progression. That's progression, but then it ruined your day. So I don't know if it's progression. Not still, it's a little <laughs> it bit because you didn't say it. Right. No, I could have just said it nice. It wasn't even a big deal. None of them are a big deal. I just get irritated at myself. I did, I've always I, got it. Tony knows I get irritated at myself more than anything else. I, and I, then and then you get irritated that you got irritated at yourself. Yeah, I was going to say I get irritated at myself for when I recall the 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 section of where I go, "Oh, why are you always like that? Like why do you have to fucking say that?" And I've I worked remember. on it, but it's well, still I think a the thing. reality is is that you're aware of it. Yeah. I, it, you're probably the same as me. Does it rub you the wrong way where you meet people that have this adi this personality and this great thing that as if that never happens in their mind or they've never done it? And, you know, like some people have this personality or attitude like as if they've never thought that them about themselves or right. they've never done it. And it's just like, yeah, you have. Yeah. You're just not spilling everything. Right. I've spilled absolutely. I have. They're like, oh, you, you must be really dirt and gnarly inside. I'm like, no, it's actually all over there. <laughs> it's all, it's all. <laughs> it doesn't need to. I mean, I'm, whatever. I'm not bottling in a gun. It's all about there. I, I've said this a million times. There's a Bible verse. It's, it's, a, pro, it's, a, it's a proverb. It's my favorite one. It says, even a fool is considered wise if he keeps his mouth shut. Yeah. And I, I'm See, not that. <laughs> I got it. Gregor and all those guys used to tell me not to talk, and then you, and then people maybe might perceive you as not as stupid as you are. Yeah, yeah. Like those, wow. were, those were tips for me. Yeah, exactly. maybe, maybe just don't talk. <laughs> yeah. People might think you're okay. I remember uh, we man, were on I just, tour. I feel bad now. We were on one of those Europe tours. <laughs> no, it's great. We were on one of those Europe tours. Um, I can't remember. I think I want to say it was like Ray and. Eric Sanderson and um, Nikki. Guerrero. Uh -huh. I got a great story on that one. But but we were skating this mini ramp, and you had a full meltdown, and went to the car. Not 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 like not like yelling and screaming. Just I could just tell yeah. that you're super upset. You went to the car, and you were sulking in the car. And then somehow I'm like, I I'm gonna go talk to him. I guess. Oh, Oof. thank you. And try to pull him out. And yeah. I like I don't have the tools to do even do that for myself. Yeah. But then I Especially just started talking then. to Lance, and I and I started to try. I was trying to convey like. Who cares? Like it's a mini ramp. He was in the in the back seat crying after the, the whole thing. He was in the back seat all bummed out after our conversation. I had brought him Wait. down. He is that what happened? <laughs> no, okay. what happened. <laughs> I took it, yeah, I took it all onto you myself. Got into the van and just went, well, I yeah. sucked her. No. 
What is it's like the Green Mile? Just I well, took all the bad stuff. No, but I and 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 somehow it was it was either that like you didn't want to be bothered by me anymore, or you were just like, okay, I'll just go try. And then you went and skated and had fun, and I felt like I accomplished something. Dude, I think so much <laughs> when you talk about competition wasn't fun, and you, you know you found a way, and you talked to Rodney, and I, I, I always think about that because it's like I've always struggled so much. I have a lot of fun, and I make fun of it. And it is fun, but there's a, like Stacy said, there's two sides. There's a dark side, like a comedic side that it kind of, there's things about it that seriously bother me. Mm. Get frustrated short or whatever, like, or want more of it and all that kind of stuff. And so it's like, it's just an interesting way, like, navigate through all this stuff. But, um, yeah, it's funny. You're you're a funny guy. You're fun to be around. Whenever you talk shit, it's funny. <laughs> I well, stop. Okay, it. hold on. Let, kid, let me let me let me, let me t- redirect this. What was the most fun tour that you and I did together? <laughs> I'm going to go back to me being a kook. When we went here and the torture. Remember Gunter? Oh yeah. And I What's he was Gunter? always in his speeder. <clears throat> he was always in his speedos. Oh, I already he, like this guy. He would invite us to go to the beach and I was like to one point, I went into his room and I cut out the fronts of all of his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's funny. Turns, I don't see how that's a bully at all. That is funny. But it turns out he b- became our distributor and never bought anything. <laughs> all these guys became our distributors. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Do you remember wait, at that uh, camp, when yeah, we were just, so I, bored I, at the I, camp just, and, and we, we started playing skate ball or skate oh, war or whatever yes. the hell it was. And so, it was, it was indoor. Yeah. It would amounted to a basketball court, but mm-hmm. it wasn't a basketball court, right? Or was it? Yeah, it was a basketball court. A wood floor, wood floor. We would just skate and take whatever was in there and throw it at each other, yeah. including yeah. like uh, balls, you know, baseball, uh, basketballs. Full and then car tire. Tires. Car tires. It was a game that we played. That sounds fun. So it started but at first it was like throw it, throw it in front of the board to make yeah. you fall. So it was whoever fall would lose. And then it was just throw the tires at people yeah. at so, their heads. Yeah, it escalates. So it was a Whittier game. We actually used to play tag at Whittier. Like we'd spend hours just playing tag where you had a tic-tac and you couldn't push. That was it, yeah. And you chase each that's, other yeah, around. It, so. Oh, okay. You chase so each he other brought around, the game with him. And you Europe. roll in and you like, you get someone to get close and then you roll in the bowl and you're yeah. out. And, and then... It, we had it where you played with a glove and you throw the glove under the wheel and like, oh, okay. boom. And it got kind of gnarly as people were rolling in bowls and that, that speed. But we brought it to Whittier. I mean, we brought that to, to Sweden. Sweden. It was like, yeah. we're bored. And I was like, hey, this is this game we play. And it escalated into we had car tires and hockey sticks. And yeah. <laughs> like throwing it was so it. dangerous. You threw hockey sticks at each you other? Playing or, yeah, or you playing tic-tac. Or you would, you would just jam the hockey oh, stick okay. in. Yeah. Or throw them. Yeah, it didn't, like, there were no rules. It just turned no into, one... like, full chaos. Let me ask you a question about snake riding. Like, because I felt like I learned you were the master one day. It just it occurred to me that the master of uh, a Snaking. heating session when there'd be, you know, like, you know, 50 people on one side, another 50 on the other. Bunch of people drop in every time somebody falls off. I remember, I don't know, it might have been in Australia. I don't remember. But I just remember you drop in, someone else dropped in. And I remember a lot of people would do their thing where they look over the other person when they're in an axle stall, or maybe if you're really good, you could do a backsider and look at them. And you were, you went slow, and I was like, that's weird. And then you went right over to the person, and and but I watched you look over the other side where he was in a grind. I was like, this guy's fucking watching the other side. And then you did a grind and purposely slowed the grind down. So he stole. So this guy's coming back in, and Lance's like, "Oh no, I'm like in your way," <laughs> and they have they have to eject. And he just look at this shit eating grin oh, across yeah. the flat, like, "Gotcha." And I'm like, "Okay, he's he's the best guy at that." Like I copied that. I remember Remy Stratton and I both became friends one day when. But we he both also he always found did the, the same day. He always found the sort of hole or window of where people wouldn't bail. Because yeah. there's always places where people bail, and if you got with your tail out, it's just not going to happen. And Lance would just figure out, like, oh, no one's ever bailing over there, and I'm going in. But you would drop in before the people even fell. He would What's go. What's the on- most heated one that you've been in? Well, Noho is still the best at it. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Noho is the best at it. Is yeah. that where you you got it from? You think? No, no. Um, 
do we all got snaked. Does that mean you and Noho at one point had no? I, I never, I never even realized it. Noho still does it to this day. So Noho, like I still see Noho does it in a session. Noho is, is so still good that way. I'm like too lazy to do that anymore. Blah blah blah. But um, Noho is still good at it. Um, Salba, Mickey Alba, those dudes did it gnarly at Upland. I skated Upland a lot. They had signals. They would have signals like no we'd go people would go there and mickey would take a run and then steve would drop in and mickey would come out and steve would take a run and mickey would drop in and we'd figure it out i was like oh i think their signal is on the third rock and roll what like uh, and no people would be lined up eight guys would lined up and they yeah, would you're just, not getting run nobody would run i mean i thought i think about this one when lester came back and rode that combi contest they made a jam session jam session come on and oh, lester did not take video. a run in that i just contest. saw the video of that mike chantry sent it to me which one that contest where lester didn't take the a run. jam Wait, yes they snaked him out of taking yep. a ride yes yeah. yeah and but so you're saying where i got it that was skateboarding at one point like yeah. we grew up in that you did not get a ride at the skate park unless you figured out how to do that yes yeah. it was heavy and these dudes were men yeah. They were big dudes. Right. And the crazy thing is, like, they were men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the oh, generation I, before when, us were when men. That they were only a year and a half older than us. But, they but there's a massive difference between a 13-year-old kid with a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> you had that? And a 17-year-old dude that was, like, could knock you out yeah. in a football game. Yeah. <laughs> um, and these dudes were rad. And so, um, what, you know, just being around that. And um, I wasn't a local at any skate park. I, I... I can only skate on Fridays and Saturdays. Why? Like, because I, I, my parents, I just uh, had to go, come home, do schoolwork, uh, had to be in before the lights were out. So we, I, I never was a local at a skate park. Like these kids grew, they grew up in skate parks. Yeah. And so the only time I really got to go outside of my era was a little bit later on in the Aspo times. And it was like my dad or my sister would take me to, Drive all the way to Del Mar, or probably not even Del Mar to this far, but drive all the way to Big O on a Friday night because there was a contest Saturday, and I'd get one day of practice. And or, that that was the heaviest snake session that you've ever yeah. been in the and night so, before the contest. I purposely wouldn't skate the night before the contest because I was like, I'm not going to be able to get a run anyway. What? Yeah, yeah. And the, these contests were like once every month, so I'd get maybe one Saturday to practice, or one Friday night. I'd get one practice, maybe two at these places, and then I'd just go, because I, I wasn't a local, I'd just go to the next contest, like Whittier. Not, when it, once Whittier was open, is different. But. How old were you when you were allowed to go skate every day? It's like, I can't believe I just said that, but. Uh, when I was in high school, I got a car. And then there was, you, and you I got worked a car. at Whittier, and I worked at Whittier, and I drove oh, to Whittier okay. and skated. But that was, I was 81. But you would have got immediately way better for when that turned around, right? I was skating a ton. Yeah. In some ways, in some ways, I had an advantage because I skated junk. Gator did too. Like he skated. People Escondido who was people who skated terrible. junk when they came to these places yeah. excelled. The very first time I skated Upland, I had come back from England with Henderson and Sinclair, and Upland was been there. Then they poured the pool years later, uh, the, the combi. Yeah, and it was full of water, and so no one skated it, and. We came back and it was drained. And so I don't know if we skated the first week or the first day or whatever, but I remember Salva tripping out on us because I did inverts on the north wall. Like the, the big e steep wall. No one does it even, no one rides that wall even there. But that night we had, I had read such junk. Somehow I did an invert on that wall. And I remember Steve and Mickey going, why, who are you? You did an invert on that wall? Like, you know, he was all stoked because we were British. And he was into punk and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I came back like a month later. He goes, you're still here? And I was like, yeah, I live here. And he's like, oh, I thought you're British. Yeah. I was like, no, I was with the British guys and stuff. But so we skated garbage. So kind of when we went to these skate parks, we're like, these are easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Upland was thing, a good skate park to you. Did you skate yeah. Upland? No, I just heard, uh, like. So the rest of Upland. Four foot of her, wasn't it? Where he's talking about right, that but, hand but the rest of Upland Maybe three and a half. was. The rest of Upland was super harsh. So the rest of the park where the full pipe was and Bank Slum. And, it and was they a 15-foot bowl there for years first. 15-foot bowl <laughs> they with, went no, down to with 11. no bank. 
15 foot ball with noping. What's noping? It just, it, just, it went, it rolled oh, off. <laughs> death. What do you do? Total, that's people, what I'm saying. Do you know what? So people the, were so gnarly. So gnarly. Yeah. I mean, the, who was it that did doubles? Tay Hunt. Like two guys did doubles oh, in that 15 foot ball. Oh, oh, Salva and Dunlop have the best photo that's there. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. People would, uh, they would uh, do wheelers. And, and do you know what? Somebody that can do an edger still is just as rad as someone. I think like on call to do an edger where, sorry, breaking things. They can come out and just ride like that. Yeah, it's critical. And they shit. can do it like on call. Like yeah. Alva can still do that on call. It's like that era of dudes like worked on these moves so that they're in there. And um, I remember we went to Upland and Kevin Anderson gnarly a skater gnarly skateboarder and he comes all the way down the 15 foot down the ditch run and it was a bank slalom ball. that emptied out into the 15 foot ball yeah yeah okay he carved that thing all the way down carved the 15 foot ball and came out and, and my friend enrique is like that's the future of skateboarding right there and i was like you gotta be kidding <laughs> what <laughs> what a waste of time he did it switch he was riding backwards. Oh, wow. He did the thing backwards. Like, what? who would waste their time riding backwards? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be In my mind. But, you know, recent, after, soon after, I was like, real, as an am, I was like, I'm going backwards as much as I can. Right. Um, but anyway. Yeah, Kevin Staub was the first guy I ever seen to do, do a backwards carve. And I was like, yeah. what? We were having cabs invert, switch oh, invert. Oh, man, we talked about that. Yeah. yeah, switch invert. I have a photo of that, yeah. We used to call it opposite stance. Yeah. So what year did you do lean 360s? Because you just, that's like- Oh, a, I didn't ever do them. Billy Ruff did- Good talking to you though. Billy Ruff did- <laughs> Could have sworn I was there for like 700 <laughs> yeah, of them, but and, yeah. And I saw one Billy Ruff, at the combi event. Billy Ruff did mute 360s, right? I, that's what, all I remember- Wait, it, backside? Everybody probably did all this stuff. I remember Billy Ruff would do- We're talking about Billy Ruff, how like as an amateur, he got the top- the year that we all were ams yeah um yeah. he got the top gibson got second i got third billy pro could have been pro that year but genus had about eight dudes on their team so he was like the new am okay but if he was a pro he probably would have gotten the top 10 as pro john gibson should have been pro because caster he was on caster and wally and stropel didn't enter those contests so caster had no pro they could have turned him pro and he probably would have got top 10 yeah gibson was gnarly i was Sixth completely i was completely basically unknown and not really on the radar of probably going to be doing good but the first contest i got fifth the second i won um or yeah second oh third third um every amateur got a full page photo in the magazine when they won i didn't get a picture at all because i don't think anyone thought i was even gonna hmm, what like i no opened, one had taken photos i you? opened up the magazine that's the magazine of the horse jumping over the log Full pay, two two sprayed two two page spread like in the magazine Action Now they had turned into like, um, it was the like, Action Sports and all sports mag yeah and I'm like I'm gonna get my photo where's my photo <laughs> horse jumping over a log an actual horse yeah remember that horse they had so much random stuff yeah in there. it was a, it was it was a, it was a horse yeah. it was a lady riding a horse jumping a, a tree and I was like, oh and I was so anyways um the the con that being said, uh, I lost my train of thought. What we're talking about? <laughs> um, we we're talking about those uh, the AMs, but uh, Billy being so that yeah, Billy was rad. He won that. But the next year, Billy, Billy Ruff did the first five forty. Yeah. Wait, what? In the form of a unit. Uh, yeah. Front front side. That, that's what I was trying to get at. Front side, but it was okay. the first five forty of yep. any kind. So Billy was AM that year. The pros. So Eddie won that year. Dwayne was on fire, and Cab was on fire. And then the standard pros that had ruled the year before, the Bowmans, the Pines, the Olsons, the Salvas, the Mickeys, basically we turned around at Pomona and it was like we had to skate a contest against the pros because there was so little people. Oh, yeah, pro versus am. And it was, it was Dwayne was still, dude, I don't even know if Dwayne entered it, but he was still uh, fully around. Yeah. Stevie was around, but he was only pro for that year. Okay. He wasn't like an old standard guy that had been for three years. Salvo was hurt, so he didn't enter. Mickey was still there. So it was really like, <laughs> I want to say the contest was like Stevie, Mickey. I don't remember if Dwayne was in it. I was in it. Yeah. Then all the M's. 
Tony, myself, uh, Blender, Billy, Billy turned pro there, I think. Yeah, and it was $1,000 winner take all. Yeah, so it was like- Wait, so second gets zero? Zero, and $1,000 yeah. at that time was like saying 50 grand right now, like right. Yeah. if not more. And, and so we were making $14. Right. Yeah, no one was making money. We're like, where did they even get a thousand dollars? Like, that's crazy. But it was, it was, it felt like three pros, and we're like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get the skate with Bowman, and these, and they're, where are they? They're gone. Skateboarding was done. They're gone. And it was like, wait, they, they it was because it was, like it was just there dead. Was, there was, it was dead. It was so dead. Pomona, Pomona was on its last legs. There, it was gonna all close. The, all, the, all the parks were on the last legs. The contest yeah. series were on the last leg. The companies sending them, like I was talking to Howard Hood. These guys, they were like they won contests and like the next contest, the, the the company just was like, "We're not sending you. We don't have any money." Yeah. So they were like, "Oh, skateboarding's over." Yeah. I, so I, we entered. I want to say, Billy entered. He might have turned pro there. Neil entered. I don't think Neil turned pro, but he might have. But it didn't really matter because so the amateurs are better than the pros at this contest. That was my last well, amateur. Event, well, there, I think there wasn't better because the pros were Cab and Mickey. <laughs> Oh, there was only. Oh, okay. So we were like, I got fourth. Yeah, but I was the first amateur. Okay. And then the next contest, I think we just entered as pro at Whittier. At pro, but yeah. But what I was saying that was is it. that was that my last amateur contest. Yeah. Billy became basically won the ma majority of those contests in the next year, year and a half. Yeah. All I was trying to get at, he had figured out this thing. Like, basically, when we were getting judged, everyone had about seventeen tricks, say, and you're just like, back sit air tick. Invert tick. It was just like everyone got 17 points. Mm -hmm. Billy at that point had broken the wreck, like kind of just broke the barrier of big car of backside air twice as high as everyone. So he they might have gone like, can you give him two points for that backside? Yeah, 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 <laughs> right? yeah. 18 points. Yeah. One point yeah. higher. Yeah. yeah. But he also at the same time was very consistent and he would always end his run with one more trick kind of lower. And get another one in. Right, 19. another banger though. Well, it was like more, they really kind of almost were bangers. They're more like, maybe more what he was known as an am. Like they were going to be there, but they're right. a little bit lower. Okay. They're not the power moves, but, and he would do slob 360s about halfway up. Or he would do a unit okay. later, a, a frontside 540 invert yeah. halfway up. But I remember seeing him do slob 360s. Long, you asked me about lean 360s an hour and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him. <laughs> That's where we got it. That's where we got to I'm, slob 360. I'm impressed I saw, you know why this, this question even happened. I, I mean, saw him ahead. do a slob 360 and yeah. I was like, I wanted to do that trick. But yeah. I ain't going to do it like a slob. That's gross. Right, because he probably did it between the leg? No, it's a slob. All slobs are gross. Well, not if you do it like me, they're not. Really? Not, don't ask. You disgusting. won't even look over here for that one. Have you seen it? Stop it. It's pretty good. <laughs> don't make me hurt you. It's not going to hurt me. I don't think I do. I think I go better frontside than you. So how's that going to hurt me? Oh, frontside all? Yes. No, frontside. All frontside is I can do better than you. <laughs> I, I'm not really. I don't understand the sarcasm. <laughs> God damn this it! This is the greatest. I was really trying. <laughs> Way better. <laughs> I'm way better no, than you. Can you tell? Really, we just make these silly rules, and it's like certain things. Uh, it, Do you know uh, how does slob get named? Every yeah, because it's just slobby. Shut! I up. knew it. It's, I knew it. That's such a wittier thing. Wait, just, that's really how it got named? For sure. Yeah. Just slop. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's, it, it can be done well. Put it this way: everything, <laughs> every. When people start whining, like, oh, there's no rules to skateboarding. Like, there's no rules. Yeah. But there's learned etiquette. Yeah. And there's also tried and true. Yes. So when people come up and go, wow, let, they call me all the time. Hey, this guy's doing this new thing. Have you seen it? Yeah, we saw it. We tried it. It's no good. Yeah. <laughs> like, everyone did it. We had a panel discussion. We decided as a whole, as art, yeah. it's macaroni art. Right. Like you're, <laughs> I get it. You're not drawing a Da Vinci. You're gluing macaroni on a thing and right. saying, look at this. Yep. And we and every once in a while, dude, someone breaks that and you're like, oop, we're wrong because you know what? Peter Hewitt does that pretty red. Right. Or Raven does that pretty red. That's it's what like, I do with the slob air. No, the slob <laughs> air Just is only <laughs> done on a snowboard. No, it's not. 
or a bicycle I like, I like or a doing, motorcycle. I like doing tailbone okay, well, slobbers. I don't know. <laughs> That's, you're, no, we can ha- you're starting to really piss me off. That's good. <laughs> I'm like, I do not look like I'm a bicycle. You almost had me. That was awesome. I was like, this guy, I'm going to show, I'm going to do one. I'm going to film it. I'm going to send it to you. No, Hate on that. No, I'm, whatever. Eras break. Eras break. <laughs> I, do, hey, speaking of, speaking I, uh, of everyone. Why did we go to Slobber? No. I was telling you I'm better lean, going frontside side than you. Remember? I was just like, lean looks dope. Yeah, you know? I was just trying to say those lean 360s are beat. really good, but. Do you remember everybody airs or everybody's? Oh, this is the story. Yeah, of course. I know that story real well. What's the everybody? So, this is another. My everyone's going to be all bummed. No one is going to be bummed <laughs> on you talking about the everybody. You know the fakey everybody. No, he doesn't. Know. You know what? You know what everybody is. No. Do you know what a good buddy is? Yep. What's a good buddy? Uh, fakey eggplant come back in forwards. Or a front side invert. Maybe it's supposed to be or something. Yeah, I mean it's supposed you to look like a into it though, right? Fake Does anyone it. do it good? The only, the only reason I know Good Buddy is because Gator did a line with a microphone for a vision good, good contest. Buddy. And he said, Good Buddy, I okay. like these. Because he actually, so, he says Good Buddy in the yeah. middle of it and it kind so, of makes him So squeezy. Good Buddy comes from everybody. Everybody is the invert version of it first. Like one's up, one's up front side you and go, one's you up go regular invert. Grab like an invert. McGill did them a lot. Yeah. Fakey hand plant? Yeah. Yeah. You but come but up you fakey. just do it off to the side or under your hand. Oh. You come up like a, you do a fakey rock and you come up and do a fakey. Because it sucks. Up. In what, our what? day. What? It sucks. I do the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying about? What are you? Sounds like you're making you a saying? fucking macaroni necklace to me, saying? buddy. Are you saying? <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> Have you seen me do them? <laughs> Have I seen you do yes. a good buddy? Or no, everybody. everybody. And I haven't seen you doing everybody. Ooh, well, I'm going to show you then. You do it. No, you won't. What? Because you won't ride that. I sure. don't even skate. I just talk. <laughs> no. Um, so anyways, <laughs> Neil Blender. <laughs> I'll do a slaw bear after your everybody. Oh God, your slaw bears rule. You're Anywhere. great at everybody's. Yeah. No, I... I <laughs> What a dude! He <laughs> pretends to even like my skateboarding. I've okay. never done a good buddy. I'm gonna vomit on you if it's, <laughs> yeah, if, just, if it's possible. Like, it's um, gonna come out. No, can you, I just you, can I just pause and say the reason it's called everybody is because no one had a trick that they could go fakie to forward from. Like if you're if you're doing a line in a pool, we didn't know how to do caballerios. We didn't know how to do 360 rocks or whatever. Fakie's so like a BMX. You fakie. needed to do a trick that wasn't just a fakie to forward. And so everyone could do grab it early and do a little yeah like yeah invert layback air thing. Everyone did it. So okay, that's what it called everybody. So, ah. so now I'll tell the real story. Okay, good. Here we go. Because it's it's more malicious and mean and wittier esque than anyone knows because we're we're mean. Neil Blender, there was there was rock fakie, fakie hang up, rock fakie, and Eddie was doing fakie ollies. But there wasn't much to do out of a fakie. Neil Blender, creative rad duty as always is, he would film stuff Super 8 and everything. And he would film an invert. He's filmed an invert. And he was playing it. And he was like, he was playing it like halfway and bringing it back. He's like, wow, I think I could fakey up into an invert. Yeah. Like fakey up and push it up into an invert. Because he's, and he, so he's, he tried it at this one big Ocon. He was trying it during, practice and everything he was trying <laughs> he's just like trying to get it and push it up into an invert yeah he's like ah, it's not impossible it's just not possible people saw him doing it and that contest nobody's pushing it up and into it they're going bink <laughs> bink yeah neil's just like he's what i was doing is disgusting it couldn't be done right it's over it's done he shows up he's like Oh, great. A fakie, everybody. <laughs> everybody was doing it. It was, but, but I, mean, I was, that's, wasn't wrong. In no, my you were right. I was just, it was much more malicious and mean, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I was saying. It was, you know, yeah. I was just trying to. But to do that trick. But, I, but like, I would, I would write down a line. I was an amateur. Someone I would write down do a line and be like, my line would be, you know, carve, backset air, backset all yeah. and all this stuff is happening just, just under coping. And then it would be like, fakie slide, 
everybody. And I would write down yeah. everybody. Like everybody. I did, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't even, there was no shame in it. It was yeah, like, no. just, yeah. Dude, that was, was called like, faking everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But no one really knew that Neil had actually called it kind of out of like. <laughs> Spite. Out of like, well, they didn't know what I was trying to do. And now they thought it was a move. <laughs> they're all doing it. I, I'm sure I did it. I did it. There was a time you had to do it if you, if you went fakey more than once because you're like fakey all or fakey hang up or slide below. And like, fakey hang up. And, 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 dude. Well, no one was reserved for a select few. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm thinking fakey about it. Oh, because you had no nose. No, oh. no. I'm thinking about no, it. No, you, you would reach it. You'd grab your tail. And yeah. Oh, rip it, it back you'd in. Grab okay. your tail or you'd do it like on the rounded part of the coat. Like okay, yeah. Big O had a rounded area yeah, and just yeah, slide yeah. up and yeah. Cheating. Um, no, it was just hadn't got there yet yeah um oh, i'm just being stupid those everybody's that he did but, um, were a different level of what i never the, saw the, anybody else go fakey and get into a stalled hamp lane. but somebody can and maybe has done it now and, and those can. rules can be broken and right. um but he, there's a lot more people who still do it the way neil would be like it's kind of it's kind of lame. and so we have like you know is. it's I have that standard that is just lame and uncool. Um, I have it on myself. That's why I don't do fun set ollies. Right. It's just like, dude, I don't want anyone to see that. That's disgusting. Yeah, don't do that in front of me. Huh? Yeah. I'll roast you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you can blast them overhead and it's just like insane. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, and Jimmy. I would like that back. Yeah, no, I mean, but you're, you're talking to someone who's like, it's called a flyaway anyway. So it's not an ollie. You don't actually hit your tail. You don't have a, a technique. You just kind of like float off some and let it fall like, you know, back in the. You, you trying to talk shit? No, that's what. No, we, he said that's what they that's, were. I, like we learned them that way where you yeah. just like float it over a hill. No, I've it seen was, you guys do that. Yeah, yeah. it's just, it wasn't, it was, there's not an ollie technique. It's, it's like a, on your way up, you're going front side ollie. That's what I'm going to do. And then when you take off, you go, wah, and it's something else. Yeah, I, I, I'd never, I mean, it's totally different than kind of. Um, it wasn't an ollie technique. It was just a launch. Yeah. Yeah, it's a free air. It's a yeah. free air. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which is harder. harder. I think that's harder. Well, to do massive. But yeah, I've never done a front side ollie over that high, probably. Like whenever you do a front side ollie where there's no more you can do, all you got to do is just pose in the same position as where your board is. Yeah. Those are the hardest ones. Like if you can get it under you and then I let it flap back in. Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, I, I never could do that. That's way I mean, more Tony control. had a killer one. McGill could do it. Cab could do it. They McGill all, could do front side ollies. They all can do front side ollies. Hmm. But then there was another level that... You that came like in. You came you in two levels greater. later. Yeah, no, because I, I mean, mind Remy based Stratton. Off, and Remy Stratton. Like, yeah, that that was the Jason next Jesse. Level. And no, and there was another person. Who's the Euro guy? Claire. And, yeah, that's yeah. who I based. That's, yeah. Claire yeah. and Jason Jesse were the two yeah. people. Oh, I was see, like, hey, that, he's doing my. Yeah. that's my technique. But that's their. Um, that is Steve that Clint. is a newer technique yeah. from even their technique, yep. and it's a more advanced technique. And it's honestly like if you look at Jason and those guys do it, they do it the way. I want to say Jimmy does it that way too. Yep. It, it really looks like the way dudes do it on a surfboard where the, yep. the wave is curling and they're like whomping off yep. that inside wheel. Yep. Yeah, Jimmy's the best at it. Yeah. I don't Either even know. That's what I'm talking. I, it, I don't even know how to skateboard because I can't do that. It's just insane. It, I love that. Um, and myself. you did massive ones. And Lee Ralph, yeah. the ones that he did in my house that time. Yeah. Dude, he did ones that were head high. He was high. really, 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 really good. Yeah. And then he yeah. fried himself. Oh, man. Wow. Well, Lance, we want to thank you for for coming. You leaving? I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> oh, I thought we were wrapping up. Just talking about. I guess how. we're wrapping up. Any street skaters want to talk shit? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> oh, wait. I I used to do fronts at all. Yeah, you did. Massive. One, so Tony. sick, Lance. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah, thanks, Lance. Thanks for being well. A really nice in guy. Conclusion. As much as you would want to deny it. But thanks Wait, for being you spent such this a whole great time person. saying I'm maybe not a nice guy. I s no, I didn't. I said and I'm better I at going front side. Front side than you. That up. was the only thing that I was what? really trying what to get right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's excited about it. When I go, yeah, man, I get better at every front side. He's like, what? What? Go on, go on. Yeah. <laughs> he's so excited. It's gonna be it's like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's never gonna go. It's good to know. It's, it is good. It is really good. Where does the front side air belong? Where does it belong? You're gonna say in my you pocket. Do is it on a ramp or is it in a pool? Right. Are you gonna go there because you're yeah. a pool guy now? Well, now, now. Was yes. it now? Yeah, because you're you were a vert guy for a while. Did we skate pools before ramps? <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but you couldn't. Yes. But you couldn't do. You couldn't do a front side air in a pool. You couldn't. Fuck off. 
<laughs> okay, this is payback for the front side. Okay. No, you... you, you <laughs> Dude, I'm glad your heart is doing good. Thank you, Lance. So I love you, dude. You're awesome. Lance, I'm thank you. so well now. What? Hey. You what? You fucking with me right there. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, but... You're good, right? About the slob air. You're healthy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah, don't do that. No, I meant... I always, I always talk about this. The front side is in the slobs that we're joking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. how good I, I do them? Yeah. It's incredible how good I am at that. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You are good. Dude, we, we could walk on that ramp right now, and it would probably be my last session. I'd be so, so depressed on how I couldn't get out on a front side or right. a backside there. It is definitely coming back. It's Let's demoralizing. Put this way. Today, you are raging. Lance, are. today, none of us are skating vert, so it's okay. We're all yeah. in the same boat. I got a gnarly hipper yesterday. <laughs> there you I go. Like, I was like, I got dude, how are you? Man, you... Tony is, uh, he's trying to collect all the uh, attributes, and he's trying now to collect the gnarliest skateboarder ever as well. Yeah. What oh, the is that heck what it is? are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to collect all the injuries into my old age. That's dude, what it's it is. gnarly, dude, what you're doing. Hey, yeah. he's a warlord. Yeah. He's a lord uh, of war. I'm not. I, all right. Thank you. It's, I appreciate it. It's incredible, it. dude. Thank you for all your kind words, too, on the dock. And, and for keeping fun alive in skateboarding for so many years. Yep. I, I don't. I, I, I really can't tell you how many people have said through the years like the reason i wanted to skate is because lance in the bones behave videos like i liked what you guys all did i didn't identify with it i didn't know if i could ever do it but lance was the conduit it was just because i was able to be silly and kind of rude and mean and and stuff and i think a lot of you but guys also kind rip. Of really, but, you, um, but you also ripped you had all those things oh, but you also yeah, ripped thank you. yeah that would be your number one asset i would say how great of a skateboarder you are yes very funny, Thank you. but also ridiculously great at skateboarding. And, and my whole life, I live in America. I have all these things that I've, oh, I've, I've, they're fantasies to me and they're real. And they were triggered Thank from you, you dude. Thanks. Like you let me live at your house. I learned three dude, tricks a day it. at your house. We didn't even get into this. Oh, yeah, that's Three right. tricks a day for dude. fucking, until yeah. he kicked me out. But <laughs> yeah, I came, I went back to Australia and people were like, oh my God. You're as good as Americans. And I was like, yeah, fucking come to Lance's. <laughs> I didn't say that. But. Yeah, we, um, man. I'll, Front set alley Bollies. Did we not just, we we didn't want it to, we just right? didn't want Front set alley what? Front set alley Bollies. Oh, yeah. This guy. Yeah, Over the gap. Gosh. Over the channel. Full Everything Phillips. get that ramp. That, that, the news of that made waves like all the way to Del Mar. Was that from Phillips? No. Was that, we did no, I was definitely a Jason Jesse. No, no. Did you know that Phillips did frontside alley oops at my house? Oh, I believe that. There was a sequence. You didn't, so none of that was about that. Uh. Uh-uh. You just raging, ripping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were ripping, man. You are ripping. It was fun. You guys rip. Um, yeah, <laughs> we just didn't want it to. Like, I don't know. We didn't want it to let it go. We just. You get this little toy, and you get to try things on it that no one in the world's ever done. And you want to be a part of it, and you kind of just don't want to let it go. And it's just like it's crazy. It, it makes you nuts. But um, yeah. as much as we're talking about all that stuff, isn't fun. I, it, I really, it is all that teasing and the we teased ourselves first. Yeah, we beat ourselves up first, <clears throat> uh, trying to like you know. The only reason I would say something about a slob is because we wouldn't let ourselves do it or whatever you know. So we just tease ourselves, and so you just push it on to others. So it's just I think people related to it. Because it's funny, but it's it wasn't to be definitely wasn't to hurt people. I mean, to do a trick where it's hideous to everybody, and then somebody like me comes along and makes it like one of the greatest fronts it is of all time. That really made me feel good. I know that. <laughs> all right, that's it. I can't do it, Mark. I can't. Thanks, right. Lance. Yeah. Well, I can describe slob. <laughs> Future primitive. <laughs> <laughs>